Uh, welcome back to the Great My My Collecting Minigame. Okay, maybe not really, but that's what we're going to be doing in this part. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. Today, we're going to be doing, just like I said, the Great My My Collecting. Uh, now, since we have the power gloves, we're actually going to do a bunch of cleanup that we couldn't do before. Now, some I'll leave out because I want to go to new areas, but others, for example, like this one right here, my my 58 underneath this rock, we're going to take care of because, well, it's within our general vicinity. Now, ironically enough, if we actually head over to Hyrule, well, in Hyrule, in the same exact place, well, we got my my 59. Okay, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, as a result of getting um, the Titan's mitts, we have the ability to get a lot of my my's that were previously inaccessible. And what was previously inaccessible, we can do now. We're going to go in here and take care of another treasure cave. I only count as a three-dimensional puzzle if I, use, if I need to use my merch abilities to solve the puzzle. If it's not, it's called a treasure cave. That, that's just my opinion. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to need to use the boomerang and the hookshot. First thing, throw a boomerang here. And then use your hookshot to move over here and then use it on this switch right here. Mostly, this puzzle is going to involve us trying to move various levels of water in order to progress forward to get our 100 rupees. I, I think they should have had at least 300 in this place, but eh, you can't pick and choose. You can only do, like, so much. Eh. Alright, I'm going to merge onto this wall right here so I can pick up some other rupees. Thank you very much, game. Alright. Now we're going to flip this switch right here, so this is going to lower it so we can actually hit a few more switches. For example, this one right here, let me see, step over here, there we go, yeah. For whatever reason, the boomerang, when you throw it, it likes to go through walls, so if you stand beyond a wall, it will come back to you and hit anything through a wall. You know, in the laws of phys- I'm, I'm just going to shut up because it's Nintendo Zelda logic and- Nintendo Zelda logic dictates that if there's anything that exists within logical standards, you need to throw that shit right out the window because that you, you're not thinking with power. Nintendo power. Nintendo power is gone. I can't say that anymore. Anyways, 100 rupees. Ah, oh, tangents. Okay. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing cleanup. Now, instead of talking and, like, going through places... We're going to cut out the places. So the first one we're going to get is near that treasure cave with the Kukos. So see you there. Okay, we are back. All right, so my my 60 is right underneath this rock right here. Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to head back into low rule and we're going to go nearby the vacant house for my my 61. So see you there. Okay, so over here near the vacant house, you have this rock right here, which contains My My 61. Now, the next one that we're going to do, I'm going to talk for this one because this is a brand new location we haven't been to before. So what you want to do is you actually want to head over to where the blacksmith house is and then go behind it to this area back here. This area back here, by the way, watch out for that rupee like like because it's actually close by to it. Come up to this rock right here and underneath my MI 62. Okay, so with that one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back into Hyrule and use our sand rod for one last time. So see you then. Okay guys, so now we're in Kakariko Village. Now what you want to do is you actually want to enter this house right here and pass this Kuko lady. And if you are listening, you can actually hear the squeaks of a Mai Mai. What you want to do is pull out your sand rod and use it right here. Okay, so come on. There we go. And with that, Mai Mai 63. Now there's one Mai Mai that we're going to get left in Hyrule. Well, at least for this particular part. 
is we're gonna have to head over towards the entrance to Death Mountain. So, see you guys there. Okay, so now we're near the entrance to Death Mountain. So, what we're gonna have to do is, earlier when we actually trekked up Death Mountain, there was this impassable rock that we couldn't budge earlier. Well, now that we have the power of the Titan's Mitts, we can move it and enter here and get this one Maya Maya that we saw way earlier, but we just couldn't get because of that stupid rock. Alright, Maya Maya 64. Alright. Now that we're done with this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back into low rule, but we're gonna enter a brand new area in order to get a special item that's gonna help us out with our Master Sword. So, let's head over to the Sanctuary, shall we? Okay, we're back in the Sanctuary. Now, because of all of the fish of our Hyrule, it's ironic that there's one right here in the middle of this Sanctuary. This is going to take us to a very abandoned part of Lowell, but it has a very important item here. Oh, wow, this place is dark. Hey, buddy. You, you, no, that's not the thing I wanted to use. Thanks, game. Hey, buddy, you should light this place up. Ugh, light, how long has it been since I knew such a comfort? Three years? Or an eternity? I think it's been three years, dude. It's an eternity, whatever. The world outside has long darkened with the menace of the mast. Say, so, what is a little light against the rising dark? No one honors the gods anymore, so beware, child. The end is at hand. Wow, okay. This full-blown cult is turning into an evil religion that's probably going to take over all of low rule. Hilda, I think you have more to worry about than the fact that your kingdom has fallen into darkness. You got an evil cult that's turned into a widespread religion. Okay, but yeah, there's a particular item that we're here for, and it's actually another piece of Master Ore. Now, like I said before, Master Ore helps us upgrade our Master Sword, and luckily, once you get two pieces, then you can upgrade it, so that's what we're here for. More attack power! Hello, Hello Helda. Welcome back to Low Rule Kingdom, Link. I was here like five seconds ago. Welcome back to Low Rule Kingdom, Link. Eh. Where you stand now was once a holy place. Now it could not be further away from such a thing. However, nearby sleeps something that will help you on your journey. A thorough search will behoove you. So say I, Hilda of Low Rule. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, so now we're in an area where basically this is the sanctuary, and this stupid enemy right here just wants to kill me. But let's ignore him. First thing over here, underneath this rock is my my 65. And there's a gang of those damn things are trying to get me. Okay, come on, come on. <sighs> I swear, really, really? Okay. This guy, he he, he ignores me, and you know what? Forget you, buddy. I'm just gonna keep going. So this part of Low Rule is actually one of the more smaller ones, and this whole entire place right here. Well, if we look at our Maya Mai map, yeah. So there's only two Maya Mai's in the entire map right now. So there isn't too much we have to deal with in terms of collectibles here, but. We're gonna get them regardless, and honestly, this is the one and only time we're gonna be coming here because, well, besides my my 66 right here in this tree, there isn't too much to get, and there is a save point here, so you can warp here, but honestly, if you're collecting all the my mys like I'm doing right now, then you honestly have nothing to worry about and just go through normally. Great, I just got two hearts back and then this jerk decides to take them away. Come here. Ugh. Hate these stupid moblins. Mo Moblin just died. Please give me hearts. Hey, thanks for two hearts. Whatever. Anyways, in this chest right here is 100 rupees. Just something you want to pick up. Okay, so let's go pick up our last Maya Maya and come here for... Come here go for what we came here for. <sighs> Alright, so my my 66 is right here on this wall. Oops, no, not 66. No, that is... I am messed up. That is 67. I don't know why I said 66. <sighs> okay, so with that, 
Hello there, and apparently Dompe also exists in this world. Okay, and it's exactly the same name, no name change. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I can see that much here. And yes, there is something that the graves are protecting. Now, if you come over to here, one sec, hey, get out of my way, you stupid guineas. Okay, let's activate this warp point right here. We're never gonna come back here again, so never save. All right, underneath this rock right here is what we're here for. So this is basically the equivalence of the area that we went into in the beginning of the game, that tomb underneath the gravestone. So we're basically here again, but the only thing that's kind of different is there's no kind of torches that you can light. So you're mostly walking through the dark with some enemies that have quite the hit. Yeah, the Lachupas are back. Ah, stupid Lachupas. Hey, jerks. And Lachupas, like usual, do a eh, a fair amount of damage. Oh God, <sighs> damn skull ropes. They do a fair amount of damage, but nothing you can't handle. <sighs> but yeah, this place is littered in darkness besides these just... The Lachupa eyes in the darkness are just like the creepiest things ever. They're just like staring at you like, Hey, hey, we're gonna try to kill you. Thanks, but... Thank you, I want to kill all of you. Ah, <sighs> stupid skull ropes. I swear skull ropes are a lot harder to deal with than regular ropes only because they blend in with all the skulls on the ground. <sighs> whatever. So much like when we first came to um, the tomb in Hyrule, our objective here is to find a key in order to open a door. And if you collected a piece of heart earlier, well, you know, merge into the swall and there's a little secret alcove where our key is. All right, awesome. Okay, so let's merge back and let's head over to that door. Ugh. Now I gotta say, this mini dungeon, it's, it's a little bit more tougher when you first come in here and if you don't have the blue mail, but other than that, it's not really a challenge. Now this next room, be prepared because we got Igors, everybody's favorite. Oh wait, why did I take away the, why did I take away the torch? I did not want to do that. No, 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 there we go. Okay, recommendation, use a tornado rod, charge spin attack, and then basically you can stun lock them if you get them in this pattern. Come on, ah. I've one extra fairy. You jerks can eat a deck. Really? I fucking hate Igors. There we go. Ugh, I hate all of the Igors. Honestly, they do so much damage in this game. I do not know why. <sighs> Freaking hero mode. Now. Remember this room? Well, this room trolls you. If you pull this, snake ropes, not snake ropes, what? Skull ropes are gonna fall from the ceiling. But if you come over here and do the wrong one before, well, it's actually the way you're supposed to open it. I kind of find it funny how low roll has the opposite switch open in this one. Eh, whatever. Can't really complain, but still, regardless. And here's what we're here for. Master Ore. Awesome. Okay, so with that, what we're going to do is we're going to head back over to the graveyard over there. And, well, open another fissure back into Hyrule. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys, we are back. And what we're going to do is we're going to collect one last my my. And first we have to do is use a bomb on this crater right here. Crater? No, that's not a crater. On this rock wall right here to open up a fissure back to Hyrule. Okay, so now that we're done with that, there's a Mai Mai there. But, but, well, there's this cave. Let's go on inside and let's get Peace of Heart 21. Awesome. Okay. It's got full hearts now, but I'm gonna need to collect some frickin' fairies because stupid Igors. 
And let's merge onto this wall and pop this last Mai Mai off, Mai Mai 68. Okay. So now that we got all the Mai Mai's in this part and we got the two pieces of Master War, well, let's head over to the blacksmith shop and let's finally upgrade our Master Sword to the next level. Oh, hey, I forgot about this. So after you save Irene, she starts talking again, but she's not as mean as before. Hey, Irene here. Did I scare you? So, um, uh, thanks for helping me. And this whole thing about me being a sage, some kind of special girl? Wow, big surprise. Wish I could leave where I am now, but I'll have to keep sending my broom. You know, I really miss my gram. Can't wait to see her again. Alright. So yeah, I will see you at the blacksmith shop. Okay, now that we're here at the blacksmith shop. Hey, how's it going, master? Oh, Link. The wife and I, we search everywhere for Gully, but he's nowhere to be found. What if monsters got... No, there's no way. Not our little boy. Tell me he's going to be alright, Link. He'll be okay. S sorry, give me a second here, Link. Hey there, you have two pieces of mass sword, don't you? How about I temper that sword? Uh, sure, why not? Right, let's get started. Can't wait to see how this beauty's gonna turn out. I've never given this guy a voice before. One moment. Hmm, impressive, I say so myself. I'll doubt I'll ever temper a blade so fine again in my life. I know there's lots of things you gotta do. Maybe this will help you out somehow. And with it, we got our tempered master sword. Now it's a red color for some arbitrary reason, but whatever. I'm not asking for payment or anything, but... Do you think you can find Goalie? Sure. Well, I guess I should get back to work, too. So I guess we're gonna be searching for Goalie. What do you got to say? That sword is my masterpiece. That blade couldn't get any sharper. No way, no how. Well, maybe if there's someone better at this than me, but I'm the best blacksmith in the world. So that's that. Well, there could be another best blacksmith in the world, but unfortunately he's in our dimension and I don't think he'll help us. But maybe he can. So, with that, I think we're gonna end our part right here, everybody. So we got ourselves a brand new Master Sword, and a quest to find Gully. So next time, I think we're going to be heading off to try to find him next. As always, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.